nerds are here with something that could be cool or it could be hot garbage. This is Tech Reviews. So this is MM, and here's kind of a comparison for the original Evercade and the Evercade EXP, which is the limited edition. This is not one of the highest ones. This is actually one of the ones that came out um, to replace those. And here's the box for it. So the difference in the box is it does say Capcom. So let's look at the differences. One thing I am noticing is that this one does go to sleep. You know, looking at it head on, the XP EXP does have a better screen. That right there is 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 an absolute. Um, the screens are exactly the same size from what I can tell. I know there'll probably be people that argue with me on that. I don't have one, the exact same cartridge twice, so I've got one of you know, different cartridges in each one. So kind of looking at it, on the bottom of the regular one you have volume, you have your charge, which on this one right here it is a micro um, USB. On the top we have a power switch and we have a mini um, HDMI. Okay, look at the back real quick, and it's just a typical, really nothing back there. So here's the XPS. So if I look at the bottom, it has uh, several buttons on my finger here, kind of covering it. You have your volume, you have uh, a toggle, which I'll show you in a second. It's kind of a cool little feature. Do you have your volume, or your, um, your uh, audio jack, looking at the top. This one right here actually has a power switch, and you have the exact same... Uh, mini HDMI. So very similar um, machines. Again, this one here does seem to have a timeout. But if I go into a game, let's see on this one. Let me show you the toggle. Because I think the toggle is pretty cool. If I go into Truxton. Truxton was a pretty good game. So let's go into there. Um, we can play. And when it loads up, as you can see, this is kind of a, or not kind of, it is um, typically one that would be on a monitor turned sideways but if you press this button on the side it does this which that's, that's not something that this one right here can do so I think that's pretty cool pretty cool little feature so if I'm actually comparing these let me go ahead and pause this baby out so if I'm actually let me put this thing back a bit so if I actually mini review of these, is it worth upgrading? I think yes. I think the screen is much sharper on the XP, EXP. I'm going to keep calling it something else. But the EXP, um, I think um, if you can get the original one cheap, I don't think it's a bad unit. I think it's actually, and again, I'll go into a game on here. I don't think it's a bad unit. It doesn't have Wi-Fi. So it doesn't connect, um, whereas this one right here will connect to Wi-Fi. And if I can go back here. So if this one right here can get updates and, and, and things as you're going through where the, um, the other one does not. Um, so there, that's kind of my comparison. Um, is it worth it? Yeah, I think it's worth the upgrade. Um, if you can still get the black one, if you can find a, a good deal on a non-heist version, I would say absolutely go for it. However, um, there is a white version out. You can get it up on Amazon or any of the retailers. I think even Best Buy carries it. Um, but it's it's definitely worth it from, from that standpoint. And I am MM for Tegachi Reviews. The nerds are here with something that would be cool or it could be hot garbage this is Tech Review